Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 79 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, where today I'm going to play with some rat stuff more. Because I just love this mod. I don't know why. It's just such a funny, hilarious, adorable mod to me that I just, I love it. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's adorable. It's hilarious. The rats are just cool and they do cool things and it's fun. So anyway, um, I was, I was spending some time farming a little bit in Ratlantis. So if you look in here, you'll see I've got a bunch of Ratlantian drops. Uh, I collected some uh, feral rat dudes, uh, so that's pretty cool. So everything's good and groovy. I'm ready to do some more uh, fights with the, uh, you know, awakened Ratlantian dude. I might do that off camera just because I think you've seen in that fight enough times. Um, so for now, what I want to focus on is a little bit of automation with rats. Uh, to automate some of the, the tasks that I want them to do. And I'd also like to look at some of the more uh, cool and interesting rat upgrades. And I've kind of marked which ones I want to play with. Uh, there's a lot. There's a ton. Like, you can use rats to do combat. You can use rats to transfer items around. You can use rats to transfer liquids. They can transfer energy. They can breed animals. They can harvest. They can farm. They can do, like, basically they're, like, you know, your autonomous little dudes who can do almost anything. Uh, but there's some cool and ridiculous upgrades that I totally wanted to try out. So here are the ones that I picked that look to be the most powerful uh, and the most interesting. We'll see what happens. So definitely Tick Accelerator, right? The rat will increase the tick speed of any block it stands over or under includes crops and machines. Uh, yeah. We know we like Tick Acceleration. Um, I know I've seen Soren playing with this on Forgecraft, and if the, the rats kind of stack, so if you put, like, six rats on there, they Tick Accelerate six times, so that's, you know, kind of cool. So we're going to try out getting a bunch of Tick Accelerate or upgrades. Um, we, we definitely need the basic Ratlantian upgrade, because some of the ones we want to get are Ratlantian upgrades. So there's the Rat Upgrade Battle God. This guy uh, requires some Rat Upgrade Warriors and Golden Rat Skulls, which we know not to be too terrible to get. Um, now that will bump up the rat's uh, base health by 500, uh, his attack by 50, and his armor by 50, so he'll be pretty good at combat. Now, in addition to that, I might skip that one and go right for Rat Upgrade Non-Believer, which gives him 1,000 health, 100 armor, and 100 attack. Extremely fast health regeneration. So basically, yeah, that's a thing. Corrupted Rat Skull. I don't think I've seen Oh, that requires the Black Death Sight. All right, cool. And that and that. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. You need four rat upgrade battle gods to make this, and you need the avatar of Ratlantis, which is the all the things thing, right? So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, other things I'd like to play with, uh, the chef upgrade can make some cool and good food, and you're probably wondering why I would want food when I have auto feeding. I, don't, I just want to check it out. Just check it out. Uh, there's the rat upgrade El Ender, which allows the rats to teleport at will. Uh, there's the rat upgrade Biplane Mount, which allows the uh, rat to get a mount that has 300 health and can fly. I just thought that would be cool looking. Uh, the Ratinator Half Machine, Half Rodent, fires dual lasers at targets, and it has 80 base rat armor. So we'll see. I'm going to try some of these out. And we might wind up combining some upgrades, but what I've noticed, and I, and I don't know if this was the case before, but there are three upgrade slots available for rats. Did it used to just be one, or am I crazy? I feel like it used to be just one. Um, so with that said, uh, you know, I, I some of these rat upgrades we can just kind of like combine already without using the rat combiner, but we'll still try it out because I want to see what the deal is here, just to see, you know, how this thing works. But I imagine it's going to be, you know, pretty ridiculous. So if we got ourselves like a non-believer rat just to kind of mess around with, you know, killing mobs, I think that would be fun. Uh, if we got ourselves a bunch of Tick Accelerators, that would also be pretty cool. A chef to make me some good food, Ender to let them teleport. You know, some cool toys that we'll try out. Um, you know, there's there's also the Shears upgrade. Uh, there, there's a ton of things here. I don't know, we might play with more or less as time goes on. Um, but anyway, um, you know, I like this one. Rat respawns after death. When rat dies, its ghost will appear nearby. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I'm getting distracted with all the cool things that I want to play with. So what I what I did want to try, uh, and I didn't actually even need this whitelist upgrade for this, because I was, I was toying with this off camera to see if I can make a thing happen that I want to happen. Um, so how about Mr. Rat? You can follow me for a sec, would you? Over here. And what I'm going to do is pop down two chests, and I'm going to configure you, boop, bound to rat, to... Uh, take items from this chest and deposit items into this chest. See how cool that looks, by the way? That's pretty neat. I think that's new, right? Before you couldn't, there wasn't a really good visual indication of how things were set up. Uh, and that's all you need to do. 
done, complete, because I also set up some blue orchids uh, right here, as you can see, blue orchids are happening. Yeah, little buddy. Uh, I would like you to come over here. Uh, I don't I don't really know what the home location means. Set home point for rat to grass block. I don't know what home super means, um, but I would like you to transport items. Cool. Now you're not going to touch that chest. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna extract from this chest and insert into this one. So watch what happens when I put blue orchids in this chest. He's gonna get them. He's going to process them, turn them into the thing that we want to make, and deposit them in the next chest. So I wasn't sure how this would work out. It's actually really easy to automate this guy. Literally just say, take out of one chest and put into the other. Now, if you tell him to take out of in an insert into the same chest, he will constantly take in and out the rat glove. So that's not what we want. So definitely use two chests for this and you'll uh, you'll have a slightly automated archeologist rat. How cool is that? And I assume that is the case for basically all the rat upgrades where rats process things. So like the chef upgrade, the ore doubling upgrade, all the things where rats can process an item. Uh, I assume this will work for all of those. So we are a few minutes later with a bunch of rat glove, which is cool. Uh, so I'm gonna do this so I can get some more rat, you know, brain thingies. So I need more of you. Boop, 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 three. Nice, I just happen to have enough feral, the, the rat spirit drop things. So I'm gonna go uh, kill some of the, uh, you know, cured feral ratlantian dudes. I forget what their name is, but you know what I mean. The boss that's like, you know, tricky. Should I, should I try him in my base? I don't, I don't wanna do that. I feel like I should try him in a place that's a little bit more locked down. Just a little bit more locked down so that he can't go too crazy flying all over the place, right? You know, somewhat. Yeah, I mean, this place looks great. Hey, buddy. Yeah, this is the way to do it. I mean, if we're going to cheese the fight, we're going to cheese the fight, right? Can we go crazy and, like, see how this does? Yeah, that worked. What was that loud? Oh, no. But I got my rap reins all happy. Now I'm not sure, but is this a splash potion? Just just asking for a friend. Yeah, it totally is. I don't think it's necessary to Now, I accidentally killed the other feral one, but it's all good. Good to know, though, that you can use this this potion as a splash potion, so you can use it on more than one feral ratlantine. Said I was going to kill them off camera, but I killed them real quick, so whatever. All right, so there's a lot of crafting to get the uber rat that's combat-oriented, right? So we need to, to do all these guys to get a warrior upgrade. The warrior upgrade, four of them gets a battle god upgrade, and four of those battle upgrades gets the non-believer. I feel like... I feel like Battle God probably good enough, but I kind of want to get non-believer just to see like what it looks like. So we'll see. Part of me is like, should I just set up auto crafting on this? Maybe. All right, all the crafting of the Battle God components are now complete, which means I can go ahead and craft three more of those relatively easily. And by relative, I mean like you know a little bit. What's a man to a king? Craft rat upgrade God, turning your rat into an almost unstoppable killing machine. All right, battle time to rock. Uh, hey buddies, two rats released from cage. You can go back in and you're with me. So how about I scoop you up? Now I don't, do I need to like feed these guys? I don't see any indication. Oh, and I need more cheese. Maybe I should automate cheese with rats. Wouldn't that be fun? Cause we're gonna need more cheese. Have a little snack buddy. You're about to go on a little adventure. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's cool. It gives them a little enchanted look. That's neat. Let's go hunting some mobs and see what we can find. That sound like a plan? So I'm just gonna, again, fly out to somewhere where mobs fight and I'm curious to see what he looks like. Now I might wind up upgrading him to the non-believer non tier just to see how ridiculous he can get. I'd also like to maybe pit him against a wither just to see what happens there. But you're free, sir. Please go hunt mobs. How come I can't access your UI? There you are. Hunt monsters. Nice! Look at him go. And I guess he'll eat 
that dropped at the zombie flash. Oh, dude, he just like wrecks me. Look at him eating. He's awesome. Yeah, like, is it even worth it to upgrade him to the next tier? I don't know that it is. Oh, he's awesome. The only thing I'd love to see him also do is uh, be able to do some kind of fortune on him or looting or whatever. You know, like, set it up so that he gets looting. I, I assume that he simulates a player killing, right? I'm not actually sure about that. He may not. I'm not sure. I feel like that would be cool. But yeah, he just wrecks dudes. Rex dudes like nobody's business. Alright, Rat. Nice work. Now, do we want to make three more of those just so we can see, you know, the top tier? Kinda. Kinda yes. Kinda yes. Can you stay here for a sec? Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna need three more of those rat upgrades. Uh, so we're going to need a few more melons and a lot more cheese is the big deal that we need. So let's look at, just for fun, I'd like to automate uh, cheese with rats. Does that sound like a cool idea? I feel like it does. So how, let's let's see if we can make that happen, right? So we, we would want a mob imprisonment tool with a cow. I have no idea if this is possible. I literally just came up with this idea moments ago and decided, like, let's try it, right? But what we're going to want rat upgrade wise would be uh, the bucket. Rats will transfer fluids of items. Do I need that along with milk? Because there's a milk upgrade. Rat will milk cows when set to harvest. Rat will transfer fluids instead of items. Rat will transfer a thousand mill buckets at a time. Yes. So let's do that. So I'm going to want one of you. We are actually missing the cheese needed. <laughs> That's a thing. All right. So let's get uh, cheese. It's, it's milk in a cauldron, right? Is how we get cheese. Do I have a cauldron laying around here? I totally do. Yeah, but he's full of water. But I can fix that with my pal to drill and then it just takes a few seconds and then turns into cheese right so i'd like to see if i can make the rats you know do this task for me i know cow cow's on board with it too he's like yeah let's go all right so we wanted um the rat milkmaid let's add that to the to-do list so we need just a little bit more cheese but we could totally automate this. No. Just just for fun. Alright, I need a bucket of milk to make the milkmaid upgrade. That would be you. Alright, so hey rat, mm. that's you. I would like you to be a milkmaid. And I would like you to... Where's that rat staff? There he is. You should set home point, and I would like you to harvest. So he's got the milk, right? Now, how do I tell you to deposit the milk? I don't think setting the home point is what's up. Maybe it needs to be in a tank of some kind? That could be. That could be because he's no longer transferring items. Ah, deposit items in basic fluid tank from. Yeah. Well, hello there. That's cool. Now, if I didn't have a mod with a tank in it, what would I do? That's the question, right? What would I do? Is there like a is there a rat tank of some kind? Because I feel like it's it's looking for a tile entity that accepts fluids, right? Um, so I feel like there's probably a way to handle that. Automatic cheese production. Milk goes in, cheese comes out. Sign me up. Sign me up. I am on board. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, you can, you can give me that back. Automatic cheese curdling station. That requires uh, a hefty amount of cheese blocks. Like, not that many. Uh, but we will be back in a moment is what we will be. That's, 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 I think that might be the way to automate this guy. All right, six pieces of cheese yields cheese curdling station. Hey, give me that back. All right, 
If I put you there, Mr. Cheese Curdle Station, aha, aha. So what if I set you deposit items in Cheese Curdling Station? Mm. Reset rat positions. Rat. One point. Deposit items from west. Deposit mm. items top. Why did you all of a sudden start working? All of a sudden he's working! I don't know what's up with that. But he's working, so I'm happy. Yay, we're getting cheese. Awesome. Alright, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Now, I'm probably going to wind up putting him in the basement or something, because I don't want him to actually live here. But, yeah, you get the idea. Reset rat positions. Mm -hmm. Reset home point. All right. So, rat, come with me. Cow, come with me. Cheese curling station, very proud of you. You're doing a great job. Hey, look at that milk double tooltip. <laughs> Not sure what that's about, but it's funny. So, hey, that's, I mean, that's a cool way to automate it, right? We can 100% do that. I wouldn't mind a rat that was also responsible for taking the items and placing them in a drawer. So, uh, I will probably do that, and that will be your job, Chief. I don't think I need any specific upgrades for you. Where are you? Oop. So, like, let's put them in a way, in a place that's like, you know... I mean, they shouldn't go anywhere, right? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Uh, but I want to make sure, you know... Bessie don't go nowhere neither. That's my problem. I don't want I don't want Bessie wandering. Right? So let's put our curdling station here. Boop. Let's put our cow here. Good job, cow. Clip into that wall. There you go. A little better. Uh, we'll put down our rats. Okay. Uh, and then you, buddy, will Deposit items in the station from... There you go. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And then you, buddy, are going to be responsible for a little drawer action. Uh, so what I'm going to say is... Let's have a drawer with a key. Why do you have things in here? Okay, uh, you're locked. I would like you to have mm. cheese in you with an external storage doohickey. So now we should be seeing the cheese. Good. And your job, Chief, will be to take items from curdling station, deposit items in oak drawer. And you will transport items boom 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 look at it go all right and now if we look at cheese we will see that there are 16 in there how cool is that so that's a little a little rat automated cheese production cool and eventually the drawer will fill up and the rats will stop working deal i like it we're gonna need more rats luckily i've got a rat king to help with that luckily i've got a rat king to help with that Where's my rat king? There he is. He will make me all the rats. I don't think you need to exist anymore, right? So I'm just gonna rat king you here. Okay, there's four rats. Rat king, come back. And that's too many rats. <laughs> it's a cool way to do it, right? That's a cool way to get lots of rats. Rat King for the win. That's the way to get rats, guys. I'm just saying. All right, now we got to get uh, a bunch of cheese. So, by the way, I should probably teach you that cheese equals cheese. It's a recipe you're going to uh, need to know because a lot of the crafting recipes need normal, you know, pieces of cheese rather than 
you know, yeah, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so let's get a bunch of cheese. A stack or two. And I'm going to go uh, make these rats friendly. Be right back. My, my, my experimental way of doing this is just throwing an entire stack of cheese in there at once with all of them. And I'm assuming they'll all, you know, do the hard stick. Oh, yeah, we're getting hard. That's working. Beautiful. Notice a pattern with these rats, by the way. They're all female, right? Wondering if that's a rat king thing. Like, he only spawns female rats. I don't know. I don't actually know. If I use this on the... No, it doesn't. Cool. Okay. So now... So that's the rats automating... Uh, the archaeologist rat, that's the rats automating milk and cheese, which is cool. How did you guys... Oh, right. Oh, right. Rat cage is weird. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. And you also stay here. Into the cage, friends. And you're with me. Okay, good, you are stepped Okay, perfect. All right, we're close. Uh, I'm just waiting for a little bit more cheese and then we can do the thing. Wow, we have the 12, 12 blocks of diamonds that have to be crafted, oh boy. So one thing I'll say is it looks like biplane wings are affected by looting because I just got three of them from one fight. Also, I need biplane wings. All right, I think we can do this ridiculously bananas thing now. So rat upgrade, non-believer, ready to roll. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about this. Now, do I have a rat buddy hanging out? I don't think so. Did I put them all away? What did I do? I don't know. I lose track of things I did five seconds ago. That's what happens. You guys go in the cage. You're going to be a rat upgrade non-believer. Oh, man, look at him. <laughs> that is cool. It's like a green enchanted rat. That's awesome. All right, so you're going to be set to hunt monsters, and you're with me. Now, I have no idea what this is going to be like, but I'm interested in seeing it. Um, you know, just for fun. Um, I'm going to turn them loose on some normal mobs. It looks like it's becoming daytime-ish, so I might need to go sleep through the day, right, in my little hammock thing. But we'll see if it's, if it's just, I think it's literally just the wrong time. I was hoping that it was like a little bit late enough that a few mobs would be out still, but no. But no. Wait, is, is that a creeper? Or is that an underground creeper? Yeah, no, let's just, let's just sleep through the day. Be right back. All right, let's see what this rat can do, shall we? Nice. I wonder if I can combine him with, like, the psionic rat upgrade. Can I do that? Is that a thing that you can do? Come here, little buddy. Can I give you psionic rat upgrade in addition to that? Yes, yes I can. So I'm gonna combine you with that, that, and a rat ender upgrade that I just made. So now I have no idea where you went, but I assume you're just teleporting around and killing mobs. Yeah, that is awesome. Look at him, he just like, teleport around, kill mobs. I have no idea where he is at the moment. Ah, oh, there he is. I'm gonna lose track of him in a second. Oh man, I, I better get back here, little guy. I mean, I appreciate you. I really do. I just have no idea where you went. <laughs> he's all over the map. I think he's over here now. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, I better sleep through the night before I actually lose track of him because I feel like I'm going to lose track of him. The little white dot on the map that's just teleporting around. That's him. Wherever he went, that's him. Where did you go, little buddy? So that's a normal rat. That might be him over here? I don't even know. I am never going to find him again. He's gone. He's officially gone. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> He's got to be around here somewhere. I'll find him. Where are you at, buddy? I should have set a home position for him. Oh, that's not him. That's a green thing, but it's not him. Alright, we'll be back once I find him. If I find him, I may not. 
I found him. Gotcha. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. He just teleports all over the place, one-shotting dudes. I love it. I love it. So now I'm imagining that what will happen. So two things. One, let's let's make sure that he's got a home position. Can I give you a home position? I don't know what a home position is, per se, but, you know, I guess he'll just wander around trying to find mobs to kill. Now, I definitely want to see how he does against a wither. Like, can he one-shot a wither? It says he does a thousand damage, but, like, I also know Minecraft generally has a limit on how much damage a mob can receive. So I'm curious if like rats circumvents that or not. Uh, so now this is disabled. So what I'm gonna do is spawn a wither real quick, just for funs. Um, why are you not? Okay, Whew. give me a heart attack there, Mr. Wither. That's not something that's broken before and I don't know why that happened. I don't know if that was just, like, a delay or something. We're not going to worry too much about it. We're not going to read too much into it. But, yeah, what was up with that? All right, so if I just pop you down here. Are you in? Yeah, you're in. Okay. So, will you hunt Will you hunt with her? Oh. I assume you will hunt with her? Where'd you go? Maybe he can't get in there? Fight with her. Ah, he does a lot of damage, to be fair. What's he do, three shots? Oh, almost three shots him. That is cool. And he's got massive health regen, right? So look, he's still got, you know, his 500 health, his 45 armor. He's got huge regen that he's, like, you know, not breaking a sweat. I guess he teleported somewhere. Where? I'm not sure. That is cool. I like it. Rats is fun, dude. Rats is hilarious. Alright, so the last thing I want to look at doing then is... Uh, we'll skip Chef Rat for now because he's not super important. But I want you to be known... I don't think we... Do we know how to make clocks? No, oh, we do. Look at that. Alright, cool. You know how to make all these things? That's awesome. Did I make two of these recipes? I didn't mean to. Um, let's put you... Where you belong put you back in there. So now can I get an accelerator? Yeah, I can. Now how many of these can I get? Oh wow, we need more lapis. Are we like low on lapis or do we not know how to craft lapis? We may not know how to craft lapis. All right, well, there's your problem. Now I've killed my fair share of rat kings, right? So how many rat tails do we have? Like 23? Nice. So that means I can make like 20 tick accelerating rats. I'm just saying. So I want to I want to test this with something like a furnace, right? Cuz a vanilla furnace is a good is a good test mechanism to see how something will work, right? So if I just got some coal and something to smelt like cobblestone. Okay, we can, we can experiment with this a bit. Now, we've got a handful of rats at the moment. I would like a handful more of rats. So what I'm going to get real fast is I'm going to breed, or I'm going to get the Rat King to give me more rats. Okay, I'll be back in a minute when I'm... Well, these guys are both rats. Do I have any more rats? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, let me get a few more. I'll be right back. Rat King ain't throwing rats at me no more. What up with that? Uh -huh. Hey, FYI, a little uh, plague doctor visited me. Anything cool in here? Uh -huh. Nothing so much. All right. So let me just do that. And then... Uh -huh. Okay, you are actually like... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did I saw my... I do. Take him down, Archimedes. Or just stand there and don't do anything, it's cool. I guess he's doing something to him. 
Do it. Do the thing. What are these guys? Nice. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely doing his best. I don't remember that thing. Alright. Time for you to be done. Okay, lots, lots to clean up here. Be right back. Sweet, another scythe thingy. I just wanted to make sure I had one of those. Yeah, so I'm feeling like there's a limit on the mob imprisonment tool thing. Uh, or, or on the rat throwing rats thing. Um, I feel like there's a limit to that. But anyway, um, I, I think we're wrapping up the episode. So let's wrap up here and we'll come back next episode for Tick Accelerating. Uh, and then we'll, we'll probably transition away from rats for a little bit and do some other things because we've done a lot with rats the last few episodes so i would definitely want to take a little bit of a break from that so for now wrapping up point for the episode hope you guys enjoyed it we'll get set up for tick accelerating and then we will have tick accelerators for use in the future all right for now don't play sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode take it easy